Zscaler is really unique and different in that we're a cloud service that provides all the security and efficiency that users would need in line with all the cloud services that users and the government would want to access. In the last couple of years, the many organizations have changed their architecture from a traditional IT architecture to one that's more distributed, has remote access for different users, uh, employees and users working from home and needing to access those IT resources. And so that's where Zero Trust comes in. Zero Trust is a way of uh, controlling your IT infrastructure, not just from network perimeters, but also from an identity perspective as well. I think Zero Trust, from my perspective, is dynamic need to know, just enough access at just the right time for just the right individual. With a secure device, with a clean identity, and a need to know that thing at that time, with access to only that thing at that time, is how I sum up Zero Trust. Zero Trust is very unique, so it depends on what the organization is trying to accomplish. But there are a couple of guiding principles. The first one is to not stick primarily to uh, network level controls. From network level controls, you could have subnets and routing tables, but the real bonus is when you have those things work hand in hand together. The second guiding principle I'd wanna bring up is always work backwards. Keep the end in mind with what is your organization trying to do, and then focus those security controls with that mindset. And then the third guiding principle I'd probably give is apply zero trust principles where it makes sense. So you don't want a top-down mandate applied to your organization that can limit innovation. Rather, again, look at what you're trying to do, see where you can go from broad access to data and broad access to your devices, um, and then apply zero trust methodologies to make that a little more fine-grained and uh, improve your security posture. There's actually a great uh, story from another federal customer. Uh, so it was a healthcare customer in the federal side. So at the beginning of COVID, there were a number of call centers uh, that this federal healthcare government group uh, was running where people were driving in, they were sitting at desks, uh, they each had two physical terminals because there were two different uh, types of data that they were working with. So a, a building, a parking lot, a lot of people, and two physical computers each. So teaming together, AWS and Zscaler, uh, what we managed to do is, so that entire workforce, those two buildings are now working from home. And what they're doing is each of those people, instead of having two physical machines, has two workspace instances. And those instances are being protected by Zscaler uh, with our ZIA product, which is basically protecting all of their interactions with public applications or the internet, as well as ZPA for any private connections, the zero trust model in that, to any private applications. This is a real need, and they couldn't stop working, but there were people in these call centers that were actually getting sick. So being able to team up together, we, we were able to provide a solution that allows the mission to keep going and at the same time you know, protect the, the individual government employees. From a zero trust perspective, we are attaching users to applications directly based upon their identity and posture without putting them on any level of network. And we create a dedicated tunnel from that user to that application without ever letting them know anything about where that application lives and breathes. Because they don't need to. In working with the public sector, the amount of time that I have, one of the biggest challenges I, I run into in the public sector, occasionally there's an issue of intellectual human capital and having smart people doing smart things inside agencies. It's important to maximize the potential of the individuals, the brilliant individuals the public sector has, and I would rather have them doing the brilliant work of building applications or solving problems rather than managing a server rack or running a thumb drive down a hallway. Cloud smart is I'm gonna leverage AWS and I'm gonna have a direct path to it. It's a much simpler and smarter way and more efficient way to do things. Or most importantly, it, it creates more efficiency inside the mission.